Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to take a look at the latest software update to Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14 and this is Beta 7. Now when it comes down to the Galaxy S23 series, this one is Beta 7. Some of the other Samsung phones are sitting on Beta 1, 2, or 3. But this update right here is a fairly large update. It's 715 megabytes. Usually a security patch, a monthly security patch is right around 200 or 300 megabytes. So this one is just holding a little bit more. There's quite a few improvements and bugs that has been fixed, especially when you consider that the last update we got was exactly one week ago today on October 7th. So with this update sitting right here, over 700 megabytes, I'm hoping maybe this one could be the last one, maybe lucky number seven, because Android 14 is officially launched on some of the Google Pixel devices that's currently out right now. So if you have the Pixel Fold, the Pixel 7 Pro, all the other ones before that, you'd be able to have the official launch of Android 14, which means my hope is that Samsung will push it off with Samsung One UI 6.0 as the official launch, maybe within two to maybe four weeks, just because it looks like we got this update just one week after the last one. I'm hoping that we're almost finished. It should be coming at the end of October, maybe early November. So with this update here, this one does end with ZWJC. You still have that October 1st patch, which we've had the October 1st patch for the last couple updates, the size of 710 megabytes. Now, some of the things that it mentions that it has improved is going to be some of these bugs. So they fix the issue that quick panel sometimes cannot be opened on the home screen, improve the screen blinking sometimes when rotating horizontally vertically, improve the boot slow encryption call algorithm, fix the issue that long input of volume key is not recognized during proximity sensor operation, fix the issue that navigation bar gesture cannot be touched, slow further improvement, also improved of camera crash and failed, and then many other improvements as well. Now, another thing that I'm noticing with this right here, which I just kind of noticed today, is gonna to be inside of GoodLock. Now, anytime that you see a lot of updates when it comes down to GoodLock, then you know we're getting closer to another update. And you can see here that Star was one that was unplugged, but now there is a update. So this is letting me know that we are getting closer to the official launch of One UI 6.0 with Android 14, on the Samsung Galaxy devices. So let's go through, let's install this, let's update this. We're gonna take a look at a few Samsung applications and services to see what we can find that's new manually. Then we'll take a look inside of the Galaxy Store as well as GoodLock to see what else they have improved or uh, uh, updated. And then we'll also take a look at the Samsung security mobile page, just because I didn't take a look at it last time, but this way we'd be able to see how many issues were fixed when it comes down to normal, moderate, or critical. Now it's usually this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. We appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So now that the update is done and complete, how about we take a look at a few applications and services from Samsung just to see if they had an update along with this. And again, as always, if I find other bigger changes or features I need to show off, then I'll make another video in the future. Now for this one, originally Samsung Home was sitting at 15001184. This one's now sitting at 15001214. So looks like we have a newer version of Samsung Home. Then we're gonna take a look inside of Samsung Gallery. So for this one, before the update was sitting at 15000031. This one is sitting at 15000035. So this one does have a newer version of Samsung Gallery. Now let's take a look at Samsung camera, which is pretty crazy because all of these I looked at one week ago, all of these had updates as well. So inside of the Samsung camera originally before the update was 14.00.080. This one's at 14.00.087. So a newer version of Samsung camera. Then we'll take a look at Samsung files. Take a look inside of here before the update. This one was sitting at 15.00.053. It's now sitting at 15.0058. So a newer version of Samsung My Files. And we'll take a look at Samsung Health. Now inside of Samsung Health before this update, this one was sitting at 6.25.0051. So this one's the exact same version of Samsung Health. So Samsung Health out of everything was the only one that did not have a update. So now how about we take a look at GoodLock because I was able to notice that there was an update inside of here, especially for one that was already unplugged originally, which is Noti Star. 
So going through here, you can update this one. Scrolling on down, this one gives the support for WinUI 6.0 now. Uh, as you scroll on down, you can see that the update was pushed out on October 10th. So let's get this one updated. Now, one of the other applications that I noticed that was unplugged was right over here. Uh, it was the NavStar. So the NavStar is still unplugged. So we'll see if maybe here in the near future, we'll be able to see if this one will get an update. And if this one, ooh, look at this. Navstar update. Let's see if we can update, update this one here. Now this one was not sitting there from before. So Navstar, let's see. So it still does not work. I'm gonna go right back inside. At least there was an update or at least for some reason it updated, but I wasn't able to open it up. So it's still unplugged currently. I got a notification that Theme Park also got an update. So let's go inside of the store here as well. Now for some reason on my phone, I don't see it. So maybe they're from another country, but it sounds as if uh, theme park was able to get an update because last time was back on October or August 7th, but it says right here, one UI six support. So if I'm sitting on one UI six and I don't see the update, that just means that it's probably coming very, very soon. So it looks as if it should work, but it currently doesn't. Uh, so yeah, hopefully very, very soon we'll see that. So when you start seeing all these good lock ones starting, you know, to have them big updates and get back to being replugged in and start to work again and all that good stuff, then you know we're getting very, very close. So now that we took a look at good lock, now let's go back inside. We'll take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Store. Every single time that you update your phone, you always wanna go inside of here and take a look at it. Now there was three sitting in here, now there's two sitting in here because that was where Noti Star was sitting. And since we just updated it, I don't see any other updates for Samsung applications inside the Galaxy Store. So now that we took a look at all of that, now let's go inside of the Samsung mobile security page to see what was updated when it comes down to moderate or critical or high on the Google side of things, as well as the Samsung side of things. So all you have to do is go inside of about phone, software information, you tap on the Android security patch the very bottom or you can click on the little link that i'll place below this video inside the description if you don't have access so we're going to go inside of here we're going to take a look at all of the android devices but more specifically we'll want to take a look at samsung and here we can finally see that it states october and so originally i wasn't able to see this with the first couple updates before this and so now you can see that there was two of them that were critical on the google side of things easily 50 or 60 almost every single time on the google side of things again and then as you scroll on down, these ones that start with SVE, all of these ones are the Samsung side of updates. So it looks like we have one, two, three, we have four, five, six, and that's it. Looks like we got six updates on the Samsung side of things for the month of October. A lot of these severities looks like moderate, moderate, moderate. We have one high. And that is it. So we have one high and the rest are moderate when it comes down to the Samsung side of things for this uh, October patch. So that's all that I'm going to go off in this video here because all of these ones are just newer versions of applications going back on the security side of everything. All of the bugs and all the little fixes are all there. If there's brand new features or anything that's noteworthy when it comes down to a brand new video, I will come out with another video talking about those features specifically and not cover all the rest that we just got done doing here. But hey, we have a brand new update for Samsung. Samsung One UI 6.0. This is beta 7. We see a lot of stuff happening and changing also inside of GoodLock. A lot of them are stating that it does work or is ready for Samsung One UI 6.0. Some of them went from unplugged to now plugged. So some of those modules are working now. And so that means that we are getting close, especially when Google already pushed off Android 14 to its Google devices just within the last few days. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.